Let's. Okay, hang on. There we go. Wanted to show that this was that. I'm hoping my headphones stay. It's always weird when I'm wearing these. Because I feel like I can hardly. I don't know, it just makes my voice sound more weird to me. For some reason. I don't know if it's maybe they're more easier to cancel out noise. So, it's not as weird to me as it could be. I honestly don't know. We'll find out. But, yeah, let's get into some Ace Attorney. I wish I remember what flavor of Powerade I got. I don't remember right now. But I think it's strawberry something. It just headphones are doing nothing. I can hear rain all this. Cool. I love how my Bluetooth does always work on this. It's great. I need to turn down the volume to like 50% it's that loud. Oh boy. So, yeah. Last time, we finished the first game. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Now there's Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All, which we're gonna play. The Lost Turnabout. Okay. Yeah. We'll play it. I don't like that music. Huff, huff. Grr, how did I get into this mess? That's far enough. You can't run forever. Mr. Phoenix Riot. What in the world? What? What? I haven't done... What have I done wrong? I cannot allow you to go on like this. Why are you simple defense attorney? Silence. You are no longer worthy of your title. He's got a damn nightmare. Like he's 100% having a nightmare. It's our 8th, 9... Oh, 8 p.m. District Court, defendant lobby number one. Phoenix, why would you have that? I mean, I guess it's a good song. What a nightmare! No. No, no, we gotta turn down lower. It's that's way too loud. I bet it was this ringtone that caused it. I really shouldn't be jumping off right before our trial starts anyway. Oh, thank goodness. Huh? It looks like they hung up. Oh, good. I finally found it. Talk about a close call. I hate to do this to you, but... It's nothing personal, Mr. Attorney. A few minutes later, District Court Defendant Lobby Number One. Who was that guy? Ouch! My head, it's throbbing. Why does it feel so foggy in there? 
Huh? G g good morning! Back! Uh, g g good morning? What's wrong? You don't look well! People are at their best first thing in the morning! Where's that fighting spirit? Sorry, but can you please turn the cheeriness down? My head sort of hurts. Roger that! You did not roger that. Um, am I in trouble or something? Huh? Trouble? Wait, wait, never mind. You're a policewoman, right? Thought maybe I'd done something wrong. But what are you talking about? I'm the one in trouble! What? We said my life in your hands today, Mr. Phoenix, right? Life in my hands? You promised me you said you were proof that I was not guilty! N not guilty. Did I get miniature amnesia? I gotta have amnesia. That bomb really took a lot out of me. Just when I thought all hope was lost when all the other lawyers had laughed me off! Leave it to me, you said. You, the one and only Phoenix Wright, came to save the day. Just like br Birdie. And just like that, I was moved to tears, sir. I'll never forget what you're doing to for me, ever. What's the score babbling about? Actually, I really love to watch the corpus scenes, and I always root for you to win. Not on duty, I like to come here and. What's wrong? You've been acting really strange and you keep staring at me. You're making me nervous, sir. Oh, sorry. Hmm, I'm afraid to ask, but here it goes. So this might sound bad, but, uh, who are you? What? So right? How can you say that? How can you do this to the fragile heart of a girl about to go on trial? You're absolutely horrible. No, I mean, I didn't mean it like that. Is this how a defense attorney treats its clients? Its clients are, oh, I can't believe this. No, it's just, well, I think you have the wrong person. I'm... Yes, I'm... I'm... Who am I? Why am I drawing the blank? Oh my god, we got amnesia! <laughs> we got hit with amnesia! The trial will begin shortly. Will the defendant and her lawyer please proceed to the courtroom immediately? The trial is about to start. I'm counting on you in there, okay? I have amnesia. Hmm, I guess I must have amnesia. We have amnesia. And they're letting him to... We can't defend her! We don't remember anything! Let's see, what can I piece together? Some things it's probably safe to say that I'm a defense attorney. That girl, I said I prove her not guilty. I can't believe I made such an irresponsible promise. Or oh, someone, please! Tell me this is just a bad dream. Why do I get the feeling? This is one dream I won't be waking up from. Gulp. September 8th, 10 a.m., District Court, room number two. That guy! Ooh, my music. Okay, it's a different color now that I'm in a different game. The court is now in session for the trial of Maggie Bird. The prosecution is 
it's ready, your honor. What is it, Miss? What is it, Mr. White? Um, er. Uh, are you talking to me? Do you see any other depositors here? I guess not. Now then, are you ready? I mean. I feel like we have to say yes, even though responsible us should say no. I can't remember who I am. But why is it yes? Guess I should say yes for now. Are you ready? Or are you ready, Mr. Wright? Yes, your honor. Wait a sec. Her life is in my hands. I should really do the responsible thing. Actually, you see, your honor, my member is kind of... The court will not heal the defense excuses. Because the defendant of... The, the defendant is a member of the police. This case is under great scrutiny. Therefore, we must make this trial fair but swift. I believe I told you this before. I hope you're not telling me you've forgotten. Actually, I have. Dude. Actually, would it have mattered if I said no then? I guess it wouldn't matter if I said no. But, Mr. Pat, if you're open in statement, please. Yes, Your Honor. As I'm sure you are well aware, the defendant is accused of killing her lover. What's worse, her lover was a fellow police officer. What is it with you being involved in... in... Trials are about someone's lover dying and their events being accused. I'm starting to see a pattern with you, Pine. Pain. A policeman? You did what to a policeman? It wasn't me. Besides, Justin and I, we weren't lovers like that. The prosecution will prove that the guilty party is none other than the defendant. Very well. Mr. Pine, please call your first witness. Hee <laughs> hee It's been a while, Mr. Wright. Let's see what you've learned since last time. I won't show you any mercy this time, rookie. Okay. And who are you again? <laughs> oh, hi! Oh, hi, Gumshoe. Time to get my Italian, Italian accent done. The prosecution calls Detective Dick Gumshoe to the stand. Here we go. Don't let me down, Mr. Wright. Don't want to hide, I'm so dead. Witness, please state your name and occupation. My name is Detective Dick Um shoot, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. You don't look very well, detective. Well, so, the defendant, she works under me, so, you know. You work under that detective? Yes, sir, and while he's a trainee, he's always watching out for me, sir. Such a wonderful guy, sure, I'll never forget what he's done for me. Okay, calm down, I believe you. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the 
details of this murder. Yes, sir. You know, I should just go see, sir. The chap at the park near headquarters. Expose the park. The victim was one of the local cops, Dustin Prince. He was pushed down from the bench on the upper path, sir. Land up. He beat up his body bad and snapped his own neck. The two tops were so poor that was distributed yesterday. Uh, <laughs> so far, I found this pocket, but I don't remember means or how it got there. Time of okay. Time of death. Throw so poor and bad to show their defense attorney. Cause broken neck, body was also discovered. Where is this? Okay. Six slash nine at six twenty-five p.m. Found a victim's body. Pieces of, of near side lens that were found nearby. Oh yes, the autopsy report. Correct. Why do I not remember again? I copy. I see everything is in order here. Even the death is unusually well done. The time of death is unusually well documented. The victim's watch uh, stopped from the land. Stopped from the impact of the landing, sir. The results of the autopsy report confirmed the time of death. If I may, your honor. Prosecution would like to submit this photograph. Very well, the court accepts it into evidence. Crime photo one out to the court record. And then, I shall recall at yesterday's preliminary hearing, very important piece of evidence, although a to piece of evidence, was brought to our attention. Yes, sir, your honor. Yes, sir. Yes, I guess. Mr. Odd, is your head on the right today? No, it is not. There was a very crucial piece of evidence found on the victim's body. Um, was that? Have you lost your mind? Yes! Yes, I have! Actually, more so my memory, but yes! Well, actually, um, it's just snores. Give me a second. What? Why do you talk like such an error? I thought you were a pro, sir. All right, sir. I'll help you for this. Okay? So we've hit the recap part of the game. This is how they started us off, haven't they? You ought to take a glance at the court record. Court record? Yep, it's all about evidence. The people lost in this case are listed there, sort. Where can I find the people? That's what I want to find. You can go up the court record by pressing the R button. Oh. Okay, my client is the only cause, but she is a policewoman, the victim, and policeman since he was saying the defendant, Maggie Byrne. Hey, prosecutor for this case, lax presidents, generally bad again at this point. The cross? He's fit. I'm sorry, he's 53? Oh, I want to go and check. How old was Gumshoe in the last games? Whatever. Detective a Caprice I turn in this show investigated. Okay. The hot button, huh? You really know what you're talking about, don't you? It's too bad I'm a cop, right? Just think I could totally be a 
you'll aid instead. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Clock is a session. Save your chit chat for later. So sorry, Your Honor. Well, I guess I'm gonna check the court record and see what I can find. What was it again? The R button? Oh, right, Mr. Wright, let's see if your notes are in order. There's a piece of evidence found underneath the victim's body. The glasses. That's simple, Your Honor. A broken pair of glasses. That's right! Give me a moment, I'll be back.
Okay, we got quite far on happy haunts. <laughs> the victim grabbed his killer. The victim grabbed his killer's glasses as he was being shoved, sir, and held on to them as he fell. Hey, why are you giving me the evil eye? Those glasses you're wearing. Eh. Yeah, this is my spare pair. But these glasses they found at the scene of the crime are not mine, I swear, sir. You sure about that? Look, it was the glasses that on that same day I accidentally stepped on mine. What's what she says? Erk. <laughs> your honor. For evidence to- I have further evidence to prevent. Oh, you're more. And this evidence is very decisive. Very well. Let's hear it from a witness about this evidence. Okay, time to cross the Ishin Gamshu. Here's a sentence I did not think I would be saying so soon. Sex of evidence. There's something of a man can there's something even more incriminating than the glasses under the victim's body, sir. During his date, the victim was pushed from the bench earlier. But she managed to write the culprit's name on the ground while he landed. How so do they- I'm sorry. broke his neck on the impact, how would he have been able to write down the victim's name? Just honestly, all these books write the name on the broken. Let's write their name to incriminate them. All they all seems to be what incriminates the person that actually did it. Who is this me? A gent like Senator, but it's clearly the defendant's name Maggie, sir. Also, what if they were trying to tell them, like, Maggie, I love you. Or like, Maggie, it was blah blah blah. Or like, Maggie, I'm sorry. Or like, like they always say, oh, that's the victim's name. Name or whatnot. Do you know that some people might think of like, reaching out to their family and trying to contact them first? Picture of the writing, your honor. Why, this is. Yes, I can certainly see her name is clearly written here. Prosecution would like to submit this picture. Understood. The court accepts it into evidence. Roger, it's the court record. Since the glasses alone didn't make you look suspicious, the victim wrote your name. You clear as they on the ground. But, 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 I already told you, those glasses aren't mine. I can't explain his sign message. It's not a conspiracy. I'm not guilty, sir. Well, sir, what? You might cross examine the witness. Oh, no. Right! Right! Why did we have to get amnesia? Why? So oh, excruciating. Cross the salmon. So that I'm having on you. Sure, but what am I supposed to do? What? This is not like you at all. Where are the support where you get the witnesses' faces? 
The other face is gonna do what? I guess there's no way around it. Okay, I'm going to lend you my hand. It's not the case with this. I'll hide things from the court. Which means they lie from time to time. Lie? But isn't that the time to be superior? Well, even if they don't mean to lie, sometimes people just remember things wrong. The detective just looks. just sort of look like a scattered brain. Oh, God, you! For picking on you so hard! You don't matter either way, it's not for us, sir! After we push the witness, you have to find and expose their lies! What's wrong? Right. You call the nomination, please. Y yes, Your Honor. You better try about fire! Here goes over. Well, I can expose the lies. We should be all right. Should be, yeah. All right, body. That's that. Yeah, we knew that. Well, let's just press that. That you're sure he's pushed, and that's how he fell. Yeah, Pat, if you looked at the wounds on the victim's body, there's no way there's anything else. Hmm. Please continue with your testimony, detective. Anyway, the victim fell pretty far away. Who oh, put that? Culprit's name? Yeah, I was surprised too. I didn't want to believe it, but... Was the name that of my client? Here's the part where we save before we attempt something and mess up. Right? Cause broken neck. Yeah, if he landed, his neck would be broken and wouldn't be able to ride anything. Unless I am mistaken, and you can still ride with a broken neck and it doesn't instantly kill you, but I don't think I am. Objection! Please, please. Be no! Slash it. No. Seven turns to say, you are what? The trick is that I'm just now rolling. Oh! Then I want to point to the judge. Oh no. That, please. <sighs> Little prep. Oh, that's only certain. Sorry, right, pal, but that's what I said. So what's that? Hey, hold on. Huh? Don't hurt me, I know the picture says Maggie, but I should must it does something go kind of off about this picture. That's how you know I found conjecture. Now hurry up and present some evidence. So that's what small contradiction feels like. Try to check the court record again. Okay. Two. No, I don't have the equipment, do I?
Hang on. That photo have it. What? No, is that Maggie? With this piece of evidence and the glasses are not the same as the Now it's hard to save. Cause I'm bad at this. No! Well, how that was, the seven statement just now related. They aren't. No, not at all. So, right, please think the facts over before we get accusations. Cool. I don't know. Hey, something in the picture clearly. That's characters part one. Okay. Okay, it's trial. Is that really? That's. I just pointed out objection. I yelled at the top of my monster and I started ready to take on my opponent. <laughs> what a rush! Just had to come to you. You duck it to me, Bell! We said the defense name. What are you trying to prove with this futile exercise, that's alright? You 
see, this is a very crucial line of questioning. Actually, Mr. Pei, you can answer. The defense name, if you please. Where's this ridiculous question coming from? This name is, uh, uh, Maggie Bird. I think someone needs to check the court record. What? Since I hear that it's Maggie Bird. Ah! It looks like the bird caught the cat napping. What's what's going on here? I have no idea either, sir. As you can see, the victim did indeed leave a name Maggie. Her first name is actually spelled Maggie with a Y, not an I. This is a blatant contradiction of facts. Oh! How about- How about that? I haven't even noticed! What? What? Read the victim did not know how to spell her name correctly! I remind you, that was you who said the defendant is accused of killing her lover. If they weren't truly lovers, it would be impossible for him to have not known. If they were truly lovers, it would be impossible for him to have known her name. No! This is our true. What's the point? Y yes, your honor? Well, you absolutely saw on that the defendant and the victim just appear as well, in fact, lovers. Y yes, I'm quite certain, your honor. They were a well-known couple in the police force. Detective Gumshoe? Please testify to court the relationship between the victim and defendant. Y yes, sir. Dustin and Maggie. Officer Prince and Officer Rudd have been going out for about half a year. It sounded like they were even talking about marriage. There the incident just happened to be the victim's birthday, sir. Birthday was birthday? Wow. Maggie, I mean Officer Rudd, hang on Officer Prince a present. I'm sure she bought over two months ago. I should know that you can't do any asking what she should get for him. I wanna know what you got him. Oh, those two sound like they were close. I mean, I don't want to contradict anything in there, because that kind of goes well for us. That was the last tragedy struck. Hmm, yes, I see. You cross examine the witness, Mr. Wright. Okay. Something new we press to save. Hang on. Okay, it just says that they were. Not so big. Nah, I guess here isn't really that big. If you're an adult, so never mind. <coughs> I was gonna say, it was kind of a jump. Not really. Yeah, let's press on that. No! Press, not present. Marriage? But wasn't the victim eight years older than her? What? You're saying a guy's gotta marry someone the same age as himself? He's got to no, marry someone the same age as himself, though? No, that's not why I'm at all. Dr. Gunshu and Dustin were only a year apart, you know. Oh, okay, I think this time we have a the ways to go before marriage. Mind your own business, though! Okay. Yeah, we're gonna press that. That's important. You discussed the defendant what was gonna give to her boyfriend? 
Well, I'm a ahem. She uh trust me, so Boy does he look proud of himself right now. What what is it this time? This might just sound like a contradiction to it to me. This wasn't anything that really stuck out as odd. Yeah? Well what happened if you tried to get more information from him? Get more information? Yeah, you know, like they press people in this I only pressed in one person a few pieces of information. Give me a moment. I'm working through some of it. She wants to talk to her, so I should try pressing him, huh? Sure, we'll press that. How do you know about this? I know you're a monster in the train camp for us cops. Sabo was a record time, and she had an officer prep seemed to hit her off. We are close to check her. Actually, I was supposed to go too, but I got paid the deposit for the trip, so I did it. If only I had gone on that trip. What is it? Oh, uh, no, that's not uh, really. Anyway. So I pressed about marriage. Oh, are you talking about birthday? Day of the incident? You mean September 6th? Yeah! The victim of Officer Prince had just gone off duty at 5 30 the end of the day. Snacks that she had so and yet they went to the park for a bit. Oh, I remember when I was just young and in love. Oh, it was a jolly time. That's great, Your Honor. I'm glad you were such a cheer- You are such a cheerful little man. <laughs> so you know a lot about the defendant. Well, that's because I, uh... Uh, I'm her boss, so I gotta watch out for my subordinates. You know what you do? But even what she was going to give us present, is not going a bit too far. Hey, Bill, what's what you say? I know everything that happens under me. If someone so much as scratches the I really don't need to know that much. <laughs> Mr. Wright, please refer to badgering the witness. I agree. This witness has a crush on the defendant. That should not be the point of discussion at the time. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That 100% makes sense. Whoa, hold on a second, what are we talking about this? So you yeah, about to grab your guilty, your guilty, your guilty, guilty, guilty. I, I should have you arrested. I think the good detective is about down here. I know. Top, I pressed about marriage. I pressed about the birthday. I pressed about the present. That's the only thing I would press. Over two months ago? Yep, she's a vote. Consider one and then. So, what's this birthday? What was this birthday present? She got him a glove! A single glove? Why did she only give him one? I'm actually honored. The only question is a baseball glove. Oh, I see. A baseball glove. Officer Prince was a huge baseball fan. Was a huge baseball fan. Baseball glove. Hmm. Yeah, we're present further. We finally got something. Is that what I said the present was something she had bought over two months ago? 
Yeah? Are you saying she bought the glove at the store that far in advance? Eh, yeah, nothing like that, pal. Then what was it like? She ordered it. It was a custom made. Custom made? The glove was custom made? Yep, that's what they said. I had a feeling, pal. So the glove is custom made. Your Honor, I really don't see how this glove is related to this case. Yeah, so it seems that it's little relevance. What do you think, Mr. Wright? Well, um... Considering I have nothing else to go on, and also that's the only thing I'm able to press, I'm gonna say yes it does. It's relevant to this case. No, we'll save to this. Because I don't want to go through that whole thing again. Really? Why is it relevant? I don't know where this will lead me, but... Of course it's relevant! That glove is the key to this whole case! Yes! Bluff it to the max! Now oh, this is the Mr. Right I know! I'm so happy you're back, sir! I was wondering how long the it takes. This is great! Hmm, grass are people. Feels like I've done this before. Please tell me we get our memories back at the end of this. Please? The thing you to do this is we have information for the most title of people. Well, Phoenix! We've been done entire we've done about a year worth of stream. No, not quite. I got this in like August or, or September. So we're almost there. But not quite. Very well. If you are that come on, well it's as a ball about the matter. Actually I put the club with me today. And? Why didn't you say so early? Why didn't you say so early? I hurry up and show the glove to the court. Well, I didn't think it had anything to do with this case. Anyway, this is it, sir. It's uh, rather yellow, isn't it? It's not that, sir. I bet the present from the magnet to the victim of this custom made. Officer Prince really like the color yellow. And that's why you had to special order it? Yep, that's right. That and one other reason. Is he left-handed? I think he's left-handed. I could be entirely wrong on that. In fact, I won't be surprised. I think this cut is hard enough. Good, I'm the victim and we were involved with each other. Yes, that is correct, your honor. Uh, that is true. Yes, that is correct, your honor. Now, if it's true, it brings up a boy question. Was the name Maggie really written by the victim? See your point, your honor. Detective Gunshire, please tell the court a little bit more about the name on the ground. Yes, sir. See, I will tell you everything you wish to know. We first looked into the hand island. Fortunately, we cut the uh, that was the victim's hand island. Next, we checked the victim's point of finger. Found that there was sand trapped under the victim's finger now. There were also scratches on his skin that were caused by him writing on the ground. From this, we could confirm that the victim wrote his name with his right hand. Please tell me that you left handed! That will contradict it so much, Maggie. Hey, hey. 
Hang on. Hmm, yeah, it's a perfectly logical question. Now that was right, you may cross the gun in the witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Riding on the ground. Hang on. I just want to check the glove. This looks like I was it for a right hand. Oh, I guess he is right handed? Plus his... No, no, it would be this way then if it was right handed. Left handed, not right. Oh, it can't be that. Look at your hand, Ryan. We, can't... we don't need to press that. Oh, press! So, in the end, you can't confirm it? Hey, don't you look down on us! I told you, we're not a bunch of simpletons, pal! Everyone knows you can't find out everything that you want for scientific investigation. Oh, I've never heard that before. Me, neither. Why? I've never heard anything like that at the police academy, sir. Okay, so I made it up anyway. Next, we check the victim pointer finger. Hang on. No, oh, that is the pointer finger. Okay. Well, press! Because everything else is. Because we are against steps, and then what happened? And it seems weird that we were pressed steps. I don't know, that might just be a me thing, but in there. And what does that prove? Well, proves that he did write the name with his own finger. Yes, which is what I've ever seen stuck under his nail. Yes, he's alright. And there's more. It's uh, caused by his right thing on the ground. Hang on. Ratchets on the. We're gonna press that first, and now we'll present scratches on his skin. Yep, you can't see them with your naked eye, but they're there. That's incredible. Sure is. That's a part of scientific investigation. It was so small, we had to use a magnifying glass, like a really strong one. It's got that really scientific sounding name. You mean a microscope? Yeah, that's it, we used one of those, and that's what we found them. I can't believe this guy doesn't know what a microscope is. No, it doesn't. Yep. Then I try to save it. Okay, fine. There's something that goes so well. Penny. It is? Oh! Baseball is for someone who is. I don't play baseball. I didn't realize 
that right hand that the gloves meant to protect your weaker hand. I didn't realize that. I'm just gonna load. Where is this right? Does it say anything on the right? On Eddie. There we go. I want to do it with right hand, really. Objection! Yeah, I thought it was right hand, and I was like, but it's right handed. It was left hand. Was like, but it's right hand. Right hand is a uh, yeah. And that's just me not knowing about baseball that messed me up. Detective Gutch, oh, take a look at this. That's the glove, right? Can you tell the court what's special about this glove? It's special, I've never really thought about it, but, uh... It's really yellow, and that's about it. Yes, it's really yellow, but that's only one of its qualities. Huh? What do you mean? There's no reason why it's special. Oh, what could that be? It's very simple. This glove is made for a left-handed person. Left-handed? Why, well, you're absolutely right. This glove is made to be worn on the right hand. That's why it had to be custom-made. I've never seen a bright yellow left-hander glove for sale, have you? Well, uh, no. I'm loving this music right now. So, detective, which hand did the victim use to write the name with again? A C to Z. You can still always turn the pictures. Wait, wait a sec. Don't forget that the victim was left handed. Ow! Oh. That is, I mean, I object! Oh, my well, well, the... That's right, I'd like to know. What? Well, your line of recent and probes. There's only one conclusion that can be drawn. Your left hand person could not have written a message with his right hand. Therefore, the person who wrote the name Maggie could not have been the victim. And I don't think it's ambidextrous. I mean... Unless... Gumshoe... You know that he uses both his hands? That's the only way. Order, order. If I think about it that way, then yes! Those are thoughts words. This that was written by the victim himself. That means, but then that means that it is. No! It's not possible! Mr. Payne! Y yes, Your Honor! The Office of Prosecution Section has failed to prove the defendant's guilt. But I believe you proven her to be innocent! No! Alright, you did it, Mr. Right! Phew, I feel like I can breathe again! It said there were two parts in the guide? Why do I feel like this is the end? Also, we need to deal with the guy that... Also, I have a phone randomly in my pocket. And, um... We still don't know who the actual murderer is, though. Which we usually find out in these cases. Seems like we have reached the conclusion. It's a fine job once again, that's all right. Me, Your Honor? Oh, well, thank you, sir. See, you got a compliment judge again. You're really good. 
that's why you can't give up and be a lion, sir. Right, joking? I'm more than ready to retire. I now announce my uh, verdict. Of course, find the defendant. I can throw it. You! No, not yet! Hey, please, give me a few more minutes, your honor. I won't strangle you so much. Dude, in the fact that, like, I have amnesia? Oh, I shouldn't. I am no way at the top of my game. Game, and he still managed to lose? <laughs> That's hilarious. What's the made of this with the pain? Just say no! You can just say no, Judge. You did it before. Prosecution is not finished yet! What do you mean? We want to call our next witness, Miss Sand. What? What does this witness witness? The moment the victim was pushed to his death. Or he saw the very face of the culprit. What the heck? Why did you lead with that then? Or, or, or in the court. Or the race test the order. After what? We'll hear from this new witness. Fine! I feel this is a bit too easy. Hmm, I need more direction. I'll have to see what I can find during this race test. Can't let it guard down. Only going to get tougher from here. Court is adjourned for recess. To be continued. I'm not using the two music yet. September 8th, 11th, 4 a.m. Just record defend lobby number one. Amnesia? I can't believe I learned to defend me in such a state. I, I, uh. What did you tell me, sir? I'm sorry, I didn't, didn't mention to you. Oh, I know what to do. Where did you fix something like this with a really strong shock at your symptom? Do not taser me! I forbid you! Come on, lower your head a little, and Maggie can should be all you need. Uh, no, no, no. I think I'll pass on this one. Come on! I, I, I'm sorry. Why is someone in trouble? I have a hard time leaving them alone. You have to stick my nose where it doesn't belong and try to tackle everyone's problems. My head's one problem you all be tackling today. Oh, we're here to solve your problem first. We can deal with mine later. For now, do you think you can fill me in on a few things? Of course, I'd be honored to. Ah, well, I guess we'll start with my name, and I can tell you all about me. No, no, that's okay, really. I think I know you and your name pretty well by now. I was wondering if you could help me figure out a few things about myself. My name is Phoenix what? Right? What weird name? Hmm, this is serious. You really don't remember. I'll tell you what, sir. Get out this back and maybe we'll help. This is a business card? Got from you. It's my most prized possession. You can't borrow it for now, but please give it back, okay? 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 Yeah, he said this thing. Here we are, back with me, saying things before Phoenix Wright says them. Oh, that's your cell number. I'm supposed to card onto. Uh, I hand out my cell number on the back. I guess for now we should stop talking about me. Let's start talking about this case. <coughs> Yep, do you think of anything that would be helpful for me to know? Uh, what can I tell you? Uh, hmm. I can't think of anything that isn't with that cell phone, but... Cell phone? Yeah, your iPhone up when we talked about that at the detective center, sir. Hurry up and tell me, this might be very important. 
Okay, Roger! <coughs> it was on the day of the crown, just before 6 p.m. Picked up a lost cell phone while on a walk with Dustin. That one! Oh boy! All of a sudden, the phone began to ring. That was way too much, huh? Beep! Oh, thank goodness. Um, hello? Oh, thank you! I was searching for my phone! This is yours? Oh, I'm glad you called! Pick me up, I can give this back! I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie. You need to meet up at 6 p.m. So I waited for the person to show up. But they never did. Hmm. Where's the phone you found now? I gave it to you yesterday. Huh? To me? Did that phone in my pocket? You mean this? You think it has anything to do with the murder? I don't really know, but my eyes lit up. Ah, oh, you were here all along. Yes. Oh, hi, Mia. My. No, Mia. Hi, Maya. You're back. You're so mean. Cause you have time, but you went to go. And when I went to check the courtroom, everyone had left already! Yeah, so who the heck is this? Let me guess, I'm supposed to know this girl too. Hey, good morning, Maggie! Now, like, good morning to you, Maya! So, so, how's it going? Is there a word for, where's the abysmal? Oh? Well, if I said that everything will be fine! That's right, it's my to the rescue of the ultra to the size of super important evidence. You are, Nick, the thing you wanted me to bring. Okay? Huh? Oh, thanks. What the heck is this list? It has about 20 people's names and phone numbers on it. It's kind of a help I managed to dig up some dirt. Looks like these guys are up to no good. No good? As in... There's a group of conlars the police are currently investigating. I think it's these guys. These guys are members of that group. They're con artists who call and say my, and say that, and say that I bought my phone, but they don't. They haven't actually bought this phone. They're purposefully planning for it and trying to scam someone or kill. Someone? No, they're just con artists. They won't kill, because otherwise they would say. Why is there a con on top of a case like this? Don't look at me! Hmm. Why didn't you get this list from in the first place? What? Don't you remember Nick? Girl, who asked me to look this up yesterday? Oh, is that right? I was trying to remember if that fellow Maggie found. Hmm, that's where they're from. You're all like forgetful these days, Nick. I hope I never get to be a forgetful old friend like you. Uh, Maya, actually, Mr. Wright is. Mr. Wright. Mr. So, Wright, uh, recess is now over. Please bring the defendant and I'll return to the courtroom immediately. Oh, oops, guess you gotta get go. We can talk to you. We'll talk about you being old later, Nick. Which is luck. Guess I have all the pieces now, more or less. What's left is put it all together. I'm not going to lose. I can't. Come on, Nick. Better get a move on. Y yeah. Think of our sister to help us and recover our memories. September 8th, 11... D4 AM, just a court room number two. <laughs>
Well, now that we convene, please call your next witnesses stand, Mr. Pine. Yes, Your Honor. But Fargo, if I may say a few words. What is it, Mr. Pine? I'm getting a bit of pressure. It's about the next witness. There's a tendency to say things that rub people the wrong way, you see. But as the court might be a little lenient on... There's no need to go for a briefcase. Just hurry up and call your witness, please. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Prosecution calls the next witness. A drug dealer who was taken a walk in the park on the day of the murder. You! Please state your name for the court witness. Before I do, I'd like to clarify a little something. Oh, oh, all right, go ahead. Just now, you introduced my wonderful son to the court, correct? He was a director of his walk, taking a walk. D did I? Oh, well, not sound for that. No, you have tinted the court's eyes and caught me wrongly. Sure, I suppose to the cop just said, uh, I can't be so touch great. It's a very perfect match. I touched with you, this is it. It's a sector of walk, is it? Yes, 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 I understand. I'm very sorry. I will be more careful now. Uh, hang on. Fire Emblem Free Houses. 